statistics is mainly looking at data and numbers and then finding meaning behind it. And the formal definition of statistics includes collecting, organizing, analyzing, interpreting, and presenting data. And statistics is everywhere. In any research being done today, the use of statistics is integral. And the basic understanding of statistics is needed no matter where you work or what you want to do with your life. And since I am planning to make future videos related to statistics, this video will be just me talking about the importance of statistics in different contexts. If you have to create a marketing plan for a product you are launching in the market, you need to gather and analyze the sales data and make the decision to choose a target market. Then you will need to create an advertising plan and find out how to reach your target customers. How will that be done? Well, if you choose to put advertisements on TV, then you have to find out when your target market is more likely to watch television. You will have to look at data and make a decision on how to go about it. Or you will have to pay someone who can look at data and tell you what will be the best decision. There are people whose only job is to gather a lot of data and making information out of it. And if you want to know a little more about the differences between data and information, then you can watch my video about it. If you are a manager of a factory that produces chocolate milk, you can try and create a forecast of future supply and demand. Then you can produce the amount of units needed, not more, not less. Producing more than necessary is bad, your products will be wasted. And producing less than necessary is also bad. You will not be able to make as much money as you could have. That is why the forecasting is needed and that forecast is done by analyzing data and making solid decisions based on that gathered data. In the economic sector, doesn't matter if you are just trying to find out the GDP trend of a country or trying to decide whether to increase or decrease the cash in an inflated or a deflated market. Statistics is there. You have to understand what is happening in front of you before making any sort of decision over here. And as I have already said, conducting any research, any type of research requires a thorough understanding of statistics. You have to gather data and get some meaningful conclusion out of it. I am talking about marketing, production, etc. because this channel is mainly for business students. But statistics is absolutely everywhere. In almost every field of study, you need to gather data on something, analyze that data, then make a hypothesis and test that hypothesis. Now, just a little bit about how statistics helps creators on YouTube. YouTube has their own analytics where you can see the data clearly illustrated in front of you. They show you how many people watched your video and how many hours a day. This is how a month's view looks like for me. The fall in views are in Fridays and Saturdays. It is understandable because you don't really want to see a video about correlation and causation on a Saturday. In Sundays, maybe you want to see it because you have to know about it in Monday. Let's take a further look back. This is how it looks like in a broader scale. And there is a larger dip in the views. That dip is actually the end of December. Why would you want to watch a video about strategic management at the end of the year, during your break? So that dip in views is understandable. And in this small data, you can see the spikes in the views 
and you can see when there are more people watching and for me it was mondays and thursdays the most so i decided to post new videos every monday and thursday for the rest of 2021 if i am doing all right you can expect it for the rest of the year and that is where i will conclude the discussion on the topic you should expect future videos on statistics you can like share subscribe and everything else i also have a patreon account you can help me out over there if you want to if not watching another video will also be helpful for the growth of this channel now my regular viewers will know that there is a small bonus at the end of every single video and the bonus for today is the nobel prize winner in physiology and medicine in 1909 was theodore cocher he was swiss so once again apologies for my pronunciation if it was wrong he won the prize for his work on our thyroid gland his work was monumental for our understanding of the thyroid gland this is the official end of this video thank you so much for watching if you are still watching time for an end of the video reminder to take care of yourself and lastly i really hope you have learned something new today goodbye for now